Hello everyone, welcome to another video of FFL 24-7. Today's video we are going to be taking another very quick look at the SPY chart SNNP 500 uh, index that is very important index overall globally and also for the stock market in general. So there are two reasons I want to do a quick analysis of uh, SPY again. Uh, one is uh, very critical this uh, uh, uptrend line that I showed you in my last video that we kind of broke out of it but uh, the very striking reason and uh, pretty much very laughable reason that i wanted to do this analysis was the way we hit this black line that i had in the previous video before so if you i mean i will put a screenshot for reference if you refer my previous video that we did the analysis uh, on a sunday night before uh, the week open for the stock market uh, we were expecting to get this uh, number hit around the 420 area why because uh, they're just playing games with us. As you guys can clearly see in, in the screenshot that I showed you, we were around here in, in this area. We just hit, about to hit this trend line and we bounced back above it. So these three last candles, we did not even have those. So we predicted that uh, to just to scare people out, they would hit this number 420. There was a possibility that we discussed in the last video and they eventually did it. So this is like very shocking. I mean, at this point, it's almost looking like they're playing jokes on us pretty much uh, why because they they can just do it so again uh, so there are two reasons that I am still kind of bullish one is because they hit a very weird number 420 it's almost like they are leaving all the big institutions all the big guys all the whatever you guys want to call them they are maybe leaving hints uh, for each other in the charts right so because uh, maybe they have a special code words or however they they communicate with each other and synchronize their trading or whatever so these are very critical points that the way they leave hints and for each other in the charts so that's one reason I'm still bullish uh, as long as we don't break down below this 420 area and start closing down below then obviously I'm going to turn very bullish I mean very bearish in the stock market so and the second reason I'm still bullish is uh, we are kind of about uh, we are actually almost oversold uh, on the RSI for SPY. So we have gone down a lot. So we definitely are supposed to see some rally and some recovery in the stock market uh, going forward in the in the next few days. So so let's take a, a quick look at the economic calendar for this week. What are the few major events that are still happening uh, in this week? So the only thing I'm going to be focusing uh, the two days that are going to be of still very critical importance in this week are going to be October 5th, Thursday and Friday, October 6th because we are going to be getting the initial jobless claims and uh, the US unemployment report on October 6th, Friday. So those are still going to play a very critical role in, in the market and the SPY is going to obviously react uh, eventually uh, based on those numbers so it's almost i mean obviously the bad numbers for the jobless claims like bad bad as in bad for public but good for fairs because fairs they want us to lose jobs right so so that's how they are predicting that they're going to bring down inflation if people lose jobs they will be spending less so and eventually the inflation will be coming down so yes it is actually kind of true people have been spending like crazy uh, driving the inflation up so feds are using the old traditional ways of enforcing a recession where people lose jobs and they start spending less and then prices and inflation starts to come down so that's uh, eventually their ultimate goal uh, that they are focusing on and uh, so yeah that's pretty much it october 5th thursday and friday we we are going to be paying very close attention to those numbers and spy will react accordingly so again uh, the level that we want to be watching uh, for next few days is going to be again this 420 level if we close below this level then the next major support that i am seeing is going to be this black line around the 392 area so yes so personally i mean it, it is not a financial advice it's just for entertainment and educational purposes if we do break down below this 420 level then i think it would be safe to buy puts for this 390 to 392 area for maybe six months out so we have at least some good time and again uh, the stop loss and and our analysis would be invalidated if we get back above this uh, trend line that th that we had before that we got from joining these uh, two points and we automatically got a hit on this point 
so that's pretty much it guys that was a quick analysis of spy i just wanted to show you guys i mean how they are playing games with us and how this is all scripted and all very very calculated so i hope you guys uh, like the video if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel